um, kung paano ba nag-start si Coach Ani? Growing up, ano kan nag-start sa triathlon? Yan. Um, it wasn't really like an instant thing uh, or a decision that I made. Pero parang <laughs> gradually it led to that. Uh, I was uh, aiming for something else as a career. and um, But during school days, I was invited to join the swim team. But high issue, school ba to, ma? High school. Kasi actually talagang ano lang, serendipitous lang. Kasi my sister had asthma. And the doctor advised her to take up swimming. And yung ano lang, hatid sundo, hatid sundo. Kailangan lang sumabay ako. Ganun lang. So napaswimming rin ako. And then later on, um, I enjoyed it. And then later on, I became officially part of the team. And then when I was in college uh, for UP, same. So UP uh, ka rin nag high school, ma'am? Yes. Oh. Actually, UP since nursery. <laughs> Saan UP to? Diliman. Diliman. Oh. So, um, when I was in college, the coach said, he chose about a dozen of us. Um, they said, there's a triathlon, mag cross training kayo. Kami naman, we didn't really know what it was and then we just agreed kasi syempre, Wait lang ma'am, pa- sa coach. paano yung mga bikes nyo? Nanghiram sa mekaniko. Oh. Yung bike ko, hiniram ko sa mekaniko sa isang bike shop sa Kalayan Avenue sa QC. Ano pa siya? Chromoly, metal, super bigat. Tapos oh. yung shift niya dun sa top tube pa. I don't know if nakakita ko. Anong, yung anong, mama, anong distance to? <laughs> uh, Olympic distance lang kasi yung dati, which is 1.5k, 40k, and 10k. So that was Subic International oh. Triathlon. And we would train for like three to four months. And then that was the only race. And uh-huh. then rest na ulit. <laughs> Kasi it wasn't really like a full calendar. Anyway, I joined it and uh, with the rest of the swim team, na una kami sa swim. Tapos after like five minutes, na iwan na kami lahat sa bike. Sa bike. <laughs> Hindi namin na realize meron pa lang sport specific fitness. And from that very first race, I got challenged. Wow, well, well, like this is so hard. <laughs> And I guess bef- before that day, I didn't realize that anything could be so difficult. I, also, I was still young. I was 19, basically. Mom, did you also take up sports science? No, I took up interior design. Oh. Just, just why I meant uh, I didn't really uh, intend to pursue this initially. So I, after graduation, um, after that first taste in triathlon, I continued on with my path that I... <laughs> Ano, uh, planned and then practiced interior design for seven years but then you know I, I felt sluggish I needed, I needed to continue exercising and I, I said why, why don't I do the triathlon thing because it's sayang naman I started it na and then all of my friends were, were into it so wait lang ma'am well. so ito pa lang yung naging start ng triathlon yes. career mo seven Na- years into the interior design work I would say 1998 was when I decided. Okay, so my first race da yung pinasali kami ng coach ng swim team na. Uh-huh. 1994 yun. Between I would say 96 ako graduate eh, sa college. And then I worked immediately. Actually I was already working when I was in third year um, for a firm. So while I was working I I oh, ayun nga. I gained a bit of weight and then I felt sluggish and I wanted to do exercise because I've been mostly doing sports as a side thing since high school. But when you work, you didn't get out of triathlon. If ever, siguro mga fun, run, fun. Nothing that I remember Uh-oh. that was, ano. But around 1998, I think I got uh, interested again because I they announced that Sydney Olympics would include triathlon. And then they said, okay, Later on, they will add that in the sea game. So it's like, oh, I think that maybe I can, I can try that. <laughs> you have to remember, we were like the first few people that talagang wala pang ano yung sport nun eh. Um, Inang triathlon. Merong mga events mga, sabihin na natin, four times a year, tops. Oo, kasama na lahat ng distance. <laughs> so, medyo nagbe-build up pa lang. So, ko- Konti pa ng, eh, mga sabi natin, 300. I, I'm not sure, I don't know the exact number. 300 athletes? Yeah, total. Uh-huh. Total. For the whole triathlon community. But then after that, 
early 2000s, nag-build up na. Kasi, I guess the 2000s Sydney Olympics did make an impact. Uh-huh. And then they started announcing we're gonna prepare the next SEA Games will have triathlon. And then, yun na. Me and my teammates, by, I think 2000 ako naging national team eh. Year 2000? I think. Yeah. Yeah. 2000. And, ilan taong kayo doon nun? Uh, 25. 25. Yeah, 25. So, um, and then the first SEA Games was 2005, which is actually the year that I met Kim. Okay. She was, okay, may, maybe we'll segue to how, she she would remember it more actually, because <laughs> ikaw na magsabi. Yeah, okay. Nung meet ni Coach Annie in 2005, I mean, how did your triathlon career started pala, sorry? Um, swimmer kasi ako that time. I mean, mostly swimming yung ginagawa ko. And then, yung coach ko is triathlete. So, lagi kaming nanonood ng mga triathlon races and sobrang laki ng impact na nagkaroon ng SEA Games Philippines in 2005. So, wala akong kilala. I mean, wala akong kilala kung sino mag-race. Pero, naririnig-rinig ko na Annie De Leon, Sandra Arroyo. And then, syempre, gusto ko silang makita kung paano talaga yung triathlon international that time. So, parang so super bata ko pa talaga na How old were you noong 2005? Ilan taon na ko noong mga... Kailan so, birthday mo? September 4. Ano yung mga i-blip So, noong <laughs> so, no, 2001, ano na siya? 2005. 11. Oh, 11, 11 na siya. 11. 11. 10, 10, di. siya noong 2001. Ay, sorry, oh. 10 years old. 14. Ah, 14. 13 to 14, yeah. mm-hmm. ah, You were a swimmer pa by mm-hmm. then? Swimmer ako. Oh, same, same with oh. me. Okay. Oh. And then, nanood lang kami ng SEA Games. Naalala ko nun, parang Thursday ata yun. Nag-absent ako sa school nun. Tapos umalis kami ng Santa Rosa ng 2 a.m. just to watch SEA Games triathlon. And then, yung nandun na, syempre, nakikita ko lahat sila naka-uniform ng national team. Sabi ko, grabe, nakakakaba. Tapos lahat ng Filipino. Kasi sa Subic, eh, talagang support. As in, SEA Games support yung level. Tapos, nandun ako, nanonood ako sa kanila. Nila line up sila. Ani De Leon, um, Philippines. Sandra Arroyo, Philippines. Naalala ko, sobrang nanginginig yung tuhod ko that time. Nanonood lang ako. As in, di ko alam talaga yung total na nangyayari. Tapos sabi ko sa sarili ko, if sa akin mangyari yan, yung pressure na ang daming lumalapit sa kanila, good luck, good luck, um, galingan nyo para sa bayan. Kung sa akin mangyari yan, parang feeling ko magkukulapsa ako okay. that time. Kasi grabe yung pressure on lahat, yung buong subik na, ano yung, bay, bay, boardwalk. boardwalk. Mm. Sobrang puno yun that time. So sabi ko nakaka-pressure pag, pag ako yung mag race And then, Yon na grace na. And then after ng triathlon, nakita ko si Coach Ani, si Sandra, nag second place, si Coach Ani fourth that time. Sabi ko, and nakita ko gano kahirap yung triathlon. After that, sabi ko, gusto ko na maging triathlete talaga. <laughs> so, from that, nag-start na ako, as in, nag-training na ako ng triathlon. Parang doon na talaga nag-start yung triathlon career ko nung napanood ko yung Games Philippines in 2005. So it's when, Namit, when Namit. you when you yeah, watch uh, triathlon for the first yeah. time. That's when you decided that. Yes. I want to do triathlon. Yes. Is this a famous picture na yung kayo magkasama? Is it is it that I think that's the year after. Ah, the year after. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sa national duathlon championships yun. Okay. Or Asian. Asian. Yeah, Asian. Asian duathlon championships. Asian. And then who who discovered you? I mean, I mean going to triathlon, going up to the national team. Who discovered you and? Yeah, so nag-start ako ng swimming ng 9 years old ako. And then, super payat ko nung bata ko and super liit ko. Compare, syempre, ka-age group ko dati, sila Claire Adorn na sa swimming. Okay. Which is, Claire is mas malaki sa akin before. Pag nag-dive kami, nasa kalahang tinagal sila <laughs> lang po. Oh, 5 meters pa lang yun lang sa swim ko. And then, sabi ng coach ko sa akin na, since nag-cross-training ano, kami ng running, and parang nakikita niya, medyo malakas ako mag-run. Bakit hindi mo mag-try, mag-try out for triathlon? So, naalala ko yung national team dati is try out. Para makapasok ka sa national team. So, naalala ko dati yung try out is 1.5k swim, then 3k run sa ultra. Okay. Pasig. So, pasig siya. Tapos yung kailangan mo lang atang kunin na time nun for 1.5 is 30 minutes. Then sa 3k, parang 
14 or 15. Hindi ko na maalala. Tapos naalala ko yung time ko nung 1.5 is 27 minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sa pool. Okay. Sa pool ng ultra. Tapos yung run ko is 9.34. Wow, ang bilis mo na nun. Kasi yung bata, usually pag bata ka naman, ang alam mo lang speed is sprint. Yeah. Pero 9, nine yeah, minutes. That's three, really fast. 3 minutes per kilometer? Yes. Yeah. Sprint, as in That's really all nice. out. I don't think I can even run 1k in 3 minutes. Eh. <laughs> Kaya mo ba yung coach? No, Ay, no, coach no, 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 In 3k? Kaya niya yun for 1k, 2k. Kaya niya yun. Probably for 500 meters. Pero <laughs> <laughs> Kaya mo siguro mga... T- anyway. <laughs> Grabe. Anyways. So after that, so nakita niya na... So that time, so since pasok yung times ko sa for national team, pumasok na agad ako sa national team mm. that time. And then from there, nag-start ako mag-compete abroad. Yung first race ko abroad was in Singapore. Tapos walang nag-expect kasi hindi ako never ako nag-race abroad. So hindi ko alam yung nangyayari. Alam ko lang swim bike run. Yun na yung pagkasunod-sunod. Tapos pag cross ko ng finish line, ang kasama ko sa na coach that time si Coach Peter Gonzalez. Sabi niya sa akin, "Alam mo second ka?" National team na ba to? Oh, national team na ako nito. Kakapasok ko lang. Sabi ko, Talaga. Tapos yung gabi, parang hiwalay pa kasi yung awarding before. Sa umaga race, tapos sa gabi, yeah. awarding, tapos may dinner. Tapos inawardan niya ako second place. Okay. <laughs> tapos parang gulat na gulat ako. So yung national team, sobrang tuwan-tuwa kasi pagbalik ko ng Philippines, may award ako. I mean, may report sila sa PSC that time. So sumasama na ako sa Asian, ga- Asian Championships. Tapos dun ko parang naging close si Chani na parang teammate. Teammate oh, lang. Teammate kami. Teammate. So, nagsama tayo sa China, Korea. Madami kami pinagsama na races. Although, coach nagko-coach na ako nun. Mm-hmm. Play, technically, nag-resign na ako as part of the national team as an athlete noong 2006. Okay. But then they said to me, uh, why don't you coach? So, I started as a grassroots coach. Pero nung nagko-coach ako, sumasama ako sa race nila, sinasabihan ako nung president namin, Sir Tom, sumali ka na rin. <laughs> Sabi ko, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so parang yun yung sinasabi niya na time. But actually, technically, I was not um, really an athlete anymore mm-hmm. for the team. I was, I was still training, but I was really a, a coach na, technically, by that time. So technically, you won your first race. The Second. first international race. Mo. Yes, that was Aussie in Singapore. Aussie in Aussie in Aussie in Singapore. 